resident of San Francisco, which happens to be in the southeast sector. <clears throat> we know Marcus Bookstores from coming, coming across town to get books. And when they started tearing down the Victorians in the early 70s, someone from New York came out and gave them the, let them know that they're making a big mistake, that those are valuable buildings, but they were so busy gentrifying the area to get the black folks out and put them over on our side of town, they were making a mistake. See, in the early 70s, those pink ladies that all the tourists come and see and everything, they were all occupied by black people. I know, because I used to go party over there. <laughs> okay? Uh, but now, they're occupied by other people who came out, fixed them up, and made them the beauties that they are. Those are valuable buildings. That's what almost happened to Marcus Books. Now, during the anti-apartheid era, I was chief of protocol for the National Conference of Black Lawyers, and the SWAPO and ANC people I would escort around. They wanted to see the Harlem of the West. So I took them over by Marcus Bookstore, and they were very pleased. They were very... And I'm here to urge you to f agree with the community when we ask that you designate the Marcus Bookstore on Fillmore Street a historic landmark. Yes, the architecture that the building hold, that holds the bookstore maintains the classic Victorian style of Fillmore, softening the more commercial facades around it. Still, for me, as a 30-year-plus educator, social and civic activist, and a 20-year-plus resident of the city and county of San Francisco, Marcus Bookstore should be designated a historic landmark because of the stories that it holds. Marcus holds stories that were spoken there, that were shaped there, aspirational stories that burst at Marcus, literally shaped the nation, and I'm not uh, do, using hyperbole there. Since most of you are going to hear many stories, I'm just going to give a couple of examples. Marcus was a site of numerous poetry, art, performances, and you've been given some of the names, so I'm skimming some of that. But Marcus was also a safe haven for community discussions and activism that shaped the film wars, still ongoing struggle to benefit from the advances of redevelopment and recover from its foibles. The owners, Julian and Ray Richardson, not only provided the space for community activists, for labor, social justice, they also provided the space for the student activists who revolutionized higher education, opening its doors to more, but also opening its minds, birthing black studies and ethnic studies, the college that I currently lead. The students at that time went on to be your judges and your publishers and your physicians and your community activists, uh, who some of them were here now. The conversations at Marcus shaped the political legacy of the city when the Burton families and the Dr. Go uh, Carlton Goodlitz and the others, architect of a movement in the city, gave birth to the careers of Ron Dellums, William, uh, Willie Brown, and others including our Governor Brown and Senator Feinstein. I want to say uh, I can't add much to what's been said on the significance of the building, but there's one thing that hasn't, I think, been said, and that's the importance of landmarks for educating people like me about what has gone on in the city and what we've done right and what we've done wrong. And the story of that building and Marcus Books and its history is incredibly important in that regard. And it needs to be. Honored. And it, it, it's, it's so many other things that I read about uh, what is a landmark that is written down on Wikipedia and 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 uh, and, and the, the the legal pages on the internet. You know, so I think the choice is easy for you guys. You know, to make. Uh, and he, here's a a a, 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 a documentary about the uh, uh, Marcus Bookstore in Bob City. You know, some of our famous musicians played there, people that we love, you know, and, 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 and their spirit is still in the, in the building. So you, it's, it's a landmark already <laughs> we, 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 without y'all even making any decision. It, it is a landmark, you know, so please do what you sh should do and declare it a landmark and leave it the way it is. I make a motion that we initiate a designation for Marcus Books and that in this period between now and when it comes back that some of the um, additional research that uh, Commissioner Matsuda had pointed out be added to the uh, designation report. Second. Second. Thank you. We'll call the roll. On that motion then to initiate um, 
and for staff to include the African American and Japanese American ties, uh, as well as the social and cultural heritage context to uh, the report that comes back to the commissioners in the future. On that motion, Commissioner Hyland. Yes. Commissioner Matsuda. Yes. Commissioner Perlman. Yes. Commissioner Wolfram. Yes. And Commission President Haas. Yes. So moved, commissioners, that motion passes unanimously five to zero. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.